Hi, welcome to Beginning C++ Gaming Program Part 1 by John Horton, a video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Eddie Leonard, and I'll be the voiceover artist for this course. John Horton is a coding and gaming enthusiast based in the UK. He has passion for writing apps, games, books, and blog articles about programming, especially for beginners. He is the founder of Game Code School, which is dedicated to helping complete beginners start coding using the language and platform that are best for them. He has authored many technological books, most recently these. This course is about learning C++ programming, the fun way. Starting from zero experience, you will learn the basics of C++, such as variables and loops, through to advanced topics, such as inheritance and polymorphism. Everything you learn will be put into practice by building fully playable games. These are our three projects, Timber, Zombie Arena, and Thomas Was Late. This course, that is, Part 1, would cover the first two games along with the basics of C++. The third game would be built in Part 2, where we would learn some advanced concepts. Let's see a bit in detail what is in store for Part 1. Section 1 is quite a hefty one, but we will learn absolutely everything we need in order to have the first part of our first game up and running be it installing Visual Studio, adding project assets, or drawing the game background. In Section 2, we will do quite a bit more drawing on the screen, and to achieve this, we will need to learn some of the basics of C++. Third section will guide how to manipulate text and display it on the screen, and how a visual time bar can inform the player and create a sense of urgency in the game. Section 4 has all the fundamental concepts of C++ that will move our understanding on enormously. We will then use everything we know to make the main game mechanic, the three branches, move. Fifth section would be the final phase of the first project. We would finalize the first game by adding sprites, sound effects, and some improvements. Section 6 has a fair amount of theory but the theory will give us knowledge to start using OOP, that is, object-oriented programming. We would plan our next game project and put the player class to work. In seventh section, we will explore C++ references, SFML vertex arrays, and code a random scrolling background. Section eight would help us learning about pointers, STL, and editing some existing code to use the texture holder class for the player and background. Ninth section will cover shooting bullets, adding a crosshair and hiding the mouse pointer, spawning pickups, and detecting collisions. In section 10, we'll add text to level up screen, create the second view, and add a HUD. In the final section, we'll save and load the high score, add sound effects, and allow the player to level up. Cool! But before we start, I would want you to know that these would be the prerequisites for this course. Take a good look and ensure that you have them before you start coding. All the software used in this course is free. Obtaining and installing the software is covered step by step within the course. It uses Visual Studio for Windows throughout, but experienced Linux and Mac users will probably have no trouble running the code and following the instructions using their favorite programming environment. This course is perfect for you, if any of these describe you. You have no C++ programming knowledge whatsoever, or need a beginner level refresher course, or you want to learn to build games, or just use games as an engaging way to learn C++, or you have aspirations to build a game one day, or even if you just want to have loads of fun and impress friends with your creations. It'll help you learn C++ in a fun way. So, let's begin this journey together and I hope to see you there.